Tyron must have flew through turn one because every, or excuse me, turn three, because everyone has just given up at least a tenth of a second, almost two tenths by they get down here to one. Remember when Kelman interviewed William before qualifying started, she asked him, could you go for the pole? And he went, yes, I think <laughs> we can. Yeah. He's pretty confident. Truex, though, that's not a, well, it's trending the wrong way. I was going to say, I believe you can make up a tenth through the tunnel. I don't know if you can make up a tenth of William Byron versus how he got through there, but there's a tenth of a second available. He's going to be faster, though, than Zane Smith. It's not an insignificant corner. I'll put Truex on the front row. Josh Boyd very hands into turn one. You said it. That turn one looked really good. It's just turn three. That's right. You know where it's where William just yeah, I mean, able to get through. There. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that's where he was, kind of getting into the corner. What's crazy about all that? We're talking about wow, Meyer really beat him bad. <laughs> Tenth and a half, <laughs> two and a half mile racetrack. Think about that. I mean, yeah. that's the world we live in. Yep. It's just. It's. It's just crazy. Different team, different drivers, different engine combinations. Tyler Reddick rough through the tunnel turn there as he's now on the clock. This is the car pretty, that, yeah, pretty good here. Mm. Trended in the green, but he'll give some off an exit, and there it is. You see the difference. Gains on entry, loses on exit. That tells me that Byron backed up turn three and got a great run. I mean, it's going to be over two tenths down the front stretch. Tyler Reddick spun on lap one in practice. We talk about drivers having to have short memories and put things behind them. It's a great example. Ty Gibbs has given himself an opportunity. He got through turn one nearly identical to William Byron. Three hundredths of a second. I'm going to call that identical on a racetrack this size. Loses a little bit down the entire front stretch. Can he find a better turn one? Gains on entry. Oh, and he's keeping the gain through the middle and on exit, Jeff. Now the tunnel turn. How do you set yourself up with these bumps? We've seen it done right. We've seen it done wrong. For the pull, William Byron watching on. Is it going to be Reddick? Is it going to be Byron? Reddick great through turn two. And Gibbs, it's Gibbs that's going to end up being the fastest and I grab the pull. The, job. the 54 of Ty Gibbs gets his second career pull. And the 21-year-old. The last one to go. Turns the fastest lap at a 52.9.